Reuters. Kingfisher Airlines rolls into Heathrow, one of the world's biggest airports, after securing a much coveted slot. India's biggest airline, after merging with Air Deccan, has started daily non stop flights between London and Bangalore, adding Mumbai in October and plans to eventually fly from India to San Francisco. Flamboyant CEO VJ Malia caused a stir when Kingfisher launched in 2005, calling his glamorous flight attendants flying models and saying he would hold in flight beauty pageants. But passengers seemed delighted. The, the, the whole experience, I mean, looking at the, at the chairman of uh, Kingfisher himself, I think it was probably straight out of his, his, let's say, hospitality book. Phenomenal. I think it's certainly going to be there amongst the best airlines in the world. There's no doubt about it. In India, it's, uh, there's, there's no airline that even comes close. And I think on the international segment, it's brilliant. It's Guests can expect high-end pampering at 30,000 feet with in-seat massages and a jacket-pressing service. And where better to mingle than the bar? Many airlines have cut loss-making routes, but Malia believes the Bangalore-London route is underserviced. Well, you know, people uh, who are based here in London or indeed in western uh, parts of the world have this view that um, aviation per se is under severe strain. Um, not surprisingly, international uh, air travel in and out of India is still growing in excess of 18% per annum, which is very, very robust. But Malia faces an uphill struggle. The Indian aviation industry lost $700 million last year and is widely forecast to double that this year. And despite Malia's tough talk, the airline, a unit of alcoholic drinks maker UB Group, has already deferred the delivery of 32 A320 family aircraft for at least two years, wary of higher fuel costs and softer demand. Stephanie McIntyre, Reuters.